In this tutorial, I will show you how to set up Blender for texture painting. Now I do have a beginner tutorial on how to do texture painting in Blender. I'll throw a card right up there in the corner of the screen and also a link in the video description. And that video is a bit longer and I go more in depth of how to do texture painting in Blender. But this tutorial is going to be a shorter format and I'm just going to show you the steps to set up texture painting in Blender. Before we start though, I want to thank Sketchfab for sponsoring this video. Sketchfab has a 3D model store where you can purchase 3D models and assets. You can preview the models in Sketchfab's online 3D model viewer. Use the model inspector to preview the wireframe, matcap textures, and more before you purchase. You can also upload your own 3D models on the platform, and you can even apply to sell your own 3D models. Check out Sketchfab with the link below. Alright, so step one to setting up texture painting in Blender is to create a map to texture paint on. So to create this, I'm going to hop over to the UV editing tab. And then if you go right up here, move your mouse right up here and scroll with your mouse wheel, you can scroll over these settings and then right over here, I'm going to click on new to make a new map. Now I'm going to call the name mushroom color. And then on the resolution here, I want to texture paint with a 4K texture. So I'm going to use a resolution of 4096 by 4096 for a 4k texture and then on the color here you need to change the color to whatever you want your default color to be so just set this color to whatever you want the main color to be for your texture painting and then I'm going to click on ok and that is going to create the texture map all right step two is to UV unwrap your object to this map because you need to tell blender where you want this texture to be placed on the object so you need to UV unwrap it now this is a pretty simple mushroom 3d model and so what I did right here you can see there's these red seams so I just added seams around here and then I added a seam going up and going down that way I can just select everything and I can press U to unwrap and then just click on unwrap so the shortcut key is U to unwrap and you can see it unwraps it pretty nicely now a lazy method for UV unwrapping is to press U and to just do the smart UV project but if you can I would recommend adding seams and doing a proper UV unwrap I'm not going to go into too much detail about UV unwrapping in this tutorial, but there are a lot of tutorials out there if you'd like to learn more about UV unwrapping. Now this UV mapping isn't actually very optimized, so I'm going to hover my mouse over this island and press L. That is going to select all the linked vertices. Then I can press R to rotate, G to grab, and I'm just going to stick it closer to the other island. Then I can double tap the A key to select everything, and I'll press S to scale and G to grab. And I'm just going to make this a bit bigger so that it's a bit more optimized, because I want to use as much of the texture space as I can. And two really important things, make sure that your islands aren't overlapping. You wouldn't want your islands to be overlapping, and then also make sure your islands are not going out of the space of the image. All right, so step three is to add a new material. So let's hop over to the shading tab. Just make sure you have your object selected. Let's click on new and I can just call this mushroom. Now step four is to add the texture that you created into this material. So I'm going to press shift A. I'm going to go to the search and I'm going to search for an image texture. I'll drop the image texture here and then I can plug the color up to the base color. Now if you click on the drop down, you can select your image texture. So I'm going to select the mushroom color. And now if you go into the material preview, you should be able to see that material on this object. All right, and step five is to hop over to the texture painting tab in Blender. Or if you wanted to, over here on the layout, you could just go from object mode to texture painting mode, and then you have all the settings right up here. I prefer to use the texture painting tab because we have these settings right here, and then we also have the flat image right over here. Now, I would highly recommend that you use a drawing tablet for the texture painting if you're able to, because computer mice really just aren't made for sculpting or painting. Computer mice are designed for going around and clicking on different things on the screen but if you're using a drawing tablet you have much better posture and you can make nice smooth strokes and also with most tablets you can control the pen pressure so I would highly recommend using a drawing tablet if you're able to if you're interested in purchasing a drawing tablet I will have Amazon links in the video description to some tablets that I recommend and those are affiliate links as an Amazon associate I earn from qualifying purchases so if you purchase something through the links that will help me out but with no extra cost to you all right so I've hopped over to my my drawing tablet and let me just go over a few of the layout settings so if you click right over here on the active tool and workspace settings you have a bunch of the settings right here and then also you have all of those same settings right over here so using my pen button I'm just clicking and dragging just to go over these settings now if you're texture painting something like a character or a face and you want it to be mirrored over on both sides then you can change that setting right here so if you just move over then there is these settings here so there's X Y and Z now if you're sculpting a character 
character or a face or something like that, you're probably just going to want to use the X. So you just click on that to turn it on. And now when you texture paint, you can see that it's going to mirror over on both sides. And I do prefer to texture paint on the object most of the time, but if you'd prefer, you can also texture paint right over here. So this is just the flat image, and you can texture paint on this as well, and then it's going to show up on the 3D model. Um, but I'm going to make this really small, because I prefer to texture paint on the object. Now if you want to change the color, then you can change it right over here. And again, all of these settings are also right here on the Active Tool and Workspace settings, so you could locate to them over here, but I'm just going to make this smaller because I prefer just to use the settings up here. So right over here is the color, so you can click on this and then you can change the color. So because this is a mushroom, I'm going to make it kind of a red color, and then I can start to paint. And then if you want to change the strength, that's right here, so you can turn the strength up. I'm going to turn the strength all the way up to 1 because I want to make the top of the mushroom very red. And then to change the size of your brush, it's going to be right here, so you can turn the radius up. I'm going to make mine nice and big, so now I can fill bigger areas faster. And then if I want to switch to a color that I've already used, I can just hold down the S key and then I can move my mouse around and then just let go and I don't even need to tap, and it's going to use the color picker. So I can just move my mouse over here, let go, and then I can can start to paint and I can fix any mistakes that I made. And then your brushes are going to be right over here and if you press T that is going to open and close this side panel. Now there are also some really cool stroke settings that you can play around with. So if you go right over here you can see there are some stroke settings. So I'm going to turn the spacing up a bit and then I can also turn the radius down a little bit. And now if I click and drag you can see that it's going to add dots there and I don't have to click and add each individual dot. I can just drag my mouse around and it's going to add those dots. There are also some other other cool stroke settings like for instance you could change it from space to line and then you can click and drag and that's going to make lines and then if you don't want to see the dots you could just turn the spacing down to like nine and now I can just click and drag and it's going to add some lines there I could also turn this jitter amount up and then when I start to draw you can see that it's kind of jittering those little dots and then as you're texture painting, I like to save a backup of the image. So to do that, you can drag out this window and then you can click on image and then you can click on save as. And I'm just going to save this as mushroom color and I'll save that as a JPEG and then I can click on save as image. That way I've just saved a backup. So if for some reason Blender crashes and closes, then I won't lose my progress. And then I can continue to texture paint. And then I can keep on saving backups as I'm texture painting. And then once I'm all done, I can just save it one last time. So I'm going to click on image and then I I will click on save as again and I'll just override that one so mushroom color dot jpeg and I will save that and that is it so that is how you set up blender for texture painting so then right back over here on your materials you can see here's the mushroom color and then you could do some different things to your material like maybe you could add a subsurf to let some color through maybe change the subsurface color or you could also turn the roughness down to make it more shiny and just edit your material to your liking so that's going to be it for this tutorial thank you for watching and I hope the tutorial was helpful and if you'd like to help support me and my YouTube channel, I will have links in the description to my Gumroad store and my Patreon page. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in a future tutorial.